Hey, welcome back. I want to talk about how to apply governing controls when a user tries to download a file from a SaaS web application, such as Office 365, Dropbox, Google Workspace, so on and so forth. And what I mean by governing those controls is if a user is maybe on a personal device and they try to download a file, let's block that download. Or we don't care what device they're on, but when they try to download a file, let's scan the content of the file, and if it has any kind of sensitive data in it, then block it. Or if the user's trying to download a file, let's maybe allow the download, but apply DLP policy to it so it's labeled and encrypted. So let me show you what I'm talking about using Microsoft Cloud App Security, my favorite product. Let's take a look. Okay, so Azure Active Directory is set up as the identity provider and single sign-on provider for Office 365, and that's gonna be my test example for today. And so here I created a conditional access policy that's scoped to a single user. It's scoped to two apps, uh, Office 365, SharePoint Online, and Office 365. No conditions, and we're just gonna grant access, but we're gonna apply session control using a custom policy that's really important. So we're just gonna turn on and click Save. When I do that and I log into Office 365 with that conditional access policy enabled, I'm gonna see under connected apps here for conditional access app control apps and MCAS, I'm going to see uh, that lit up here, such as OneDrive for Business and some of these other apps as connected. Now that it's connected, I'm gonna go in and create a policy. So if I just go over to control, click on policies, and then create a new session policy, I've already done this, and that session policy, I'm gonna choose the session control type is control file download. And then we're gonna scope it to Office 365. Now I could scope it to my other cloud apps, but for this example, just Office 365. My device tag is not going to equal any of these. And so that's where I can say, hey, if you're trying to do this from a personal device, let's go ahead and, and block it. Uh, then I'm inspecting the download. So when the user tries to download the file, and they're on a personal device and it's in Office 365, then let's inspect that data using the data classification service and my Project Falcon sensitivity type, sense of information type rather. And if we see those keywords from that sense of information type in that download of that data, we're gonna block it and we're gonna present a custom message. So this is really easy and straightforward. So uh, let's go ahead and, and test this and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Okay, so here we are inside my OneDrive, and I'm just going to attempt to download this file that contains a uh, custom keyword in it. Let me show you the custom keyword. So the keyword is Project Falcon. So we're just gonna right click and we're gonna choose download, and MCAS is going to inspect that file upon download, see the keyword, and then block it. Boom, there it is, stopped my tracks, and there's my custom message, you cannot download data to personal device that is related to Project Falcon. Now I do get this little text file, that's just indicating that it was blocked. So let's do that one more time, just going to right click on that file, choose download, and boom, it's blocked. Okay, so let's do this again, but this time let's modify the policy. Instead of blocking downloads, let's apply DLP to downloads of sensitive data. So my session control type is gonna be control file download. We're gonna leave our app scope to Office 365 and scope to any non-managed device using does not equal. No file filters. Our inspection method is going to be the data classification service, and we're gonna use our sense of information type Project Falcon. And then down here, instead of blocking, we're gonna choose protect, and we're going to apply a Microsoft information protection label, a sensitivity label called highly confidential Project Falcon to that file. And then we're going to click update. So let's give this a few moments to update, and then let's go ahead and test this. All right, so back in my OneDrive, I'm gonna to try to download Project Falcon. Now remember, it has sensitive data in it, but per our policy, we're gonna allow you to download it, but we're gonna apply DLP to it if you're on a personal device, and I'm actually on a personal device. It's not managed. So I'm gonna right-click, choose Download, and here we can see it's inspecting, boom. Here's the file, it's downloading now. Now remember, it applied a Microsoft Information Protection sensitivity label to it. 
And if you're familiar with sensitivity labels, and if you're not, check out my other videos on it, but if you are familiar with it, you know that there's scope to permissions and the data in the file is encrypted. So here I am on a personal device, because the device is not managed, I'm gonna to have to sign in with my proper identity that has permissions to the file in order to view it. Otherwise, the darn thing is encrypted, I can't see it. So that's how I can not only restrict file downloads using MCAS, but also apply DLP upon download. And it's all within my conditional access policies here within Microsoft Cloud App Security. And there's my, my, my session policy for that. Now, as you can see, these filters, you can slice and dice it many different ways to meet whatever business requirements you're trying to do. But that's just a couple common scenarios I often see. Now, now that I've downloaded it, let me go to alerts here and we could see that uh, an alert got generated that blocked it on that first test. And here we could see some telemetry about that block. If I go over to investigate and click on activity log, here I can see that uh, Megan tried to download the file to a personal device. But if I hover this icon, it looks like it applied a sensitivity label to it. So apply DLP, so mission accomplished there. And if I scroll down here, here's where she tried to download that file in the first test, and it was indeed blocked. Okay, well, conditional access app control or session control is pretty easy to set up, as you saw. Uh, you just need to make sure that single sign-on is configured with your identity provider. In this case, it was Azure Active Directory, and then I create that session policy. If I'm not using Azure Active Directory, that's okay. I would then go into Connected Apps, click on Conditional Access App Control, that tab, and then click that blue plus sign, and the wizard will walk me through how to create that for my third-party IDP. Now, as you can see, there's many different use cases for this, different scenarios that come up. I just gave you an example of two. I would love to hear what you all think about some different example scenarios. So let me know in the comments down below. The final thing I'm gonna mention on this is those filters. Those filters are amazing. You can, again, slice and dice it however you want. So really think through those business requirements because really anything is possible. All right, folks, we'll see you in the next video. Take care. Whoa, hold on a second, don't leave yet. If you found value in this video, click on like because it really helps me out. And if you wanna see more videos, click on subscribe because I have new content being released on a daily basis across security compliance from Azure to Microsoft 365 and much more.